In order to give a doctor or a hygienist credit for services rendered, such as being here in the charting program, the doctor or the hygienist would first have to be listed as a provider in the system. So what I'm going to do is show you how to come here into Setup, go to Providers, Provider Setup, in order to add a provider. Now a provider is considered a dentist or a hygienist, someone that could be given credit for dental procedures rendered. So here Add New Provider is the button that I would click to begin adding the provider into the system. First thing I have to work with are my required fields listed with the red asterisk. I would have to give my provider an ID number and I would recommend putting in some kind of number let's say 01 and then the person's initials. So I'm going to put in Mary Smith. 01 MS for Mary Smith. Now is this entity a dentist or a hygienist? From the pull down menu we can choose. Just to let you know only dentists and hygienists can be given credit for services rendered. Production such as exams, cleanings, x-rays, root canals, and crowns. Last name then first name. Typing convention will be type tab type tab. So on to Smith tab Mary tab. Pull down is going to give us the option for DDS or DMD. Continuing typing and tabbing and putting in the address. Now it doesn't matter frankly what the address is that you put here unless this is the insurance billing provider. The reason I say this is because the place that the patient is treated is the address which the claim will appear for the treating dentist. So let's put in the address for 2134 Ramsey Road. Zip code first 90210. Beverly Hills, California, and then the phone number there. And again, just typing and tabbing, entering in required fields. License number will be very important because that is going to appear on the insurance claim, as well as the DEA if you're going to do any kind of prescriptions. NPI, carriers requiring NPI ID numbers, and tax ID will become important if this is the insurance billing provider. If not, you can put in social security number. If this is a specialist, you do want this to generate a specific separate claim form so it can indicate the specialty of that provider. Schedule a color. What color do you want it to show when you schedule appointments for this specific provider? And you have a huge host of colors. Default provider time, we'll talk about that later actually. Fee schedule, do not assign a fee schedule here, leave it blank. Moving along with the blue button on the right hand side indicates insurance IDs. These are what we call the old legacy IDs before the NPI numbers were available. If you do have legacy IDs, choose the carrier and then indicate the legacy ID. So for instance, let's pretend that United Concordia does have an insurance provider ID number that they want us to use. Choose the carrier, type in the ID number, and click Add. Next information would be works at. So we do need to indicate the office where this provider works at. If you're a single practitioner with a single office, that would be pretty simple routing slip. This is where you indicate what are the services that you would like to appear on a routing slip if that's what you're going to use to communicate information between operatory and front desk. If you'll be posting treatment from the operatory then this is not necessary. Sometimes providers don't want any procedures to appear on the routing slip and they simply write in their own handwriting the services that were rendered. That's an option as well. If you do want something to appear on the routing slip simply type next to that procedure the number number one for the amount of times you want it to appear and move down. You can also copy an existing routing slip from an, another provider to this provider by simply choosing the provider and then choosing copy. After you've done that, you've finished adding a provider into the system. Don't forget to click save. Now this is how you add a provider into the system, but you are not done. There are other things that you should probably use and add for your provider here in per office settings. Check that video out next.